So old John Nighthawk out here, the man upstairs, God, they say God will send angels, I believe that, they say God is Jesus, and Jesus and his prophets are the word of God here on this earth, I believe that, so cheers to all you, uh, God sends aliens and angels out there, and prophets and disciples and followers of Christ in the ways and the path of righteousness. So cheers to all those that follow the light. Amen. It's your good friend Nighthawk out here. Got my guns and guitars hanging on my wall. Like I say, I'll be a country rock star till the day I fall. Got my lucky Quaker steak and lube cup here. I got from working up at, uh, I actually worked at the Castro oil change for years. I was a mechanic up there, oil change, tires, brakes, all kinds of shit. But I learned a lot working up there. Old Chris, my mentor, used to say, uh, you can't make this shit up, man. And uh, God bless Chris, man. I learned a lot from that old dude and James. And uh, I retired down in Florida now, so rest rest down there easy in Florida, my friend. Got my lucky cowboy hat on. I shaved off all my sexy, beautiful hair, but it'll grow back. This is a hard hat, a twister rodeo hat. And, of course, I got the male and female turkey feathers on here the double turkey feathers a memorial of my old aunt terry rest in peace i got the little birds feathers the male and female turkey feathers then i got i raised guinea hens here so in the old days i got my guinea feathers here to complement the turkey feathers this is my lucky hat all pent out blessed and uh i raised them guinea hens out here on the farm and they give you eggs, but they ain't as good as chicken eggs. And them guinea hens, they can be mean sometimes, too. And I'm having problems with the hawks keep coming down and eating the babies, which is sad. But uh, in the old days, the guinea feathers were a delicacy that the gentlemen were wearing their hats. And uh, them guinea hens, they're like African turkey hen things. They're all right. You got them for free, and they just keep multiplying. Oh, cheers, my friends. I'm doing much better getting stronger um my ulcers healed up been rehabilitating my spine broke my back a couple years ago was in a coma almost died I was hit by a car i'm like uh, i survived a bad, real bad motorcycle accident got hit by a car in 2017 out there and i've been fighting ever since and finally starting to get stronger scar tissues breaking loose um my ulcers have Got some medicine from ulcers, which was a true godsend. I, I'd been real sick and thought I was going to die for a while. And I've been praying and praying and praying and fighting and fighting. And I'm starting to get better. And I, I thank God for it every day because I've had many near-death experiences, my friends. A lot of close calls with death from drugs, alcohol, being beaten to death, OD and alcohol poisoning. Um, getting beaten to death at a young age was very traumatic. Uh, I saw the light there. Somehow I just adrenaline brought me back to life. Um, getting hit, head traumas, comas, traumatic brain injuries, broke my spine, my back, bad accidents, uh, uh, broken my nose, my face. I used to be a, a semi-professional boxer. I was uh, in a 200-pound weight club. We would just have bare-knuckle fucking fight clubs here and down in Stan's garage and shit, man. Got beat up. Well, I lost more fights than I ever win, but that's a song I'll never sing again. And uh just had a hard, rough life and trying to take better care of myself as I go through my 30s here and uh, whatnot. And um, it's a miracle to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive and do much better. I thank God for that every day because I was dead. I was up in heaven. I was dead. My life flashed before my eyes, all the peoples and places. It was like a timeless, infinite, dreamlike sequence. No time passed. I might have been dead for two minutes, but for me, I was gone for an entire eternity. I mean, I had... A life, a family, friends and family. I, I was on some farm here down in West Virginia. And God, he said, it ain't your time, sonny boy. Put me on a big white raft like Indiana Jones. And I was falling down from the sky from heaven. Come down, hit on a water slide. He sent me back down from heaven on a giant water slide. Dropped me right back down here on my farm down here in Kerwin Heights. So I'm living proof. If it ain't your time to go, it ain't your time to go. Because Lord knows I still have work to do here on this earth. There's no greater honor and privilege than, than doing the work of God and preaching the word of God for the way and the path of righteousness is the way and the path of the Lord. 
And I thank God for that every day because there's no greater job in the world than to do that work and to help others and make this world a better place. And there's a lot of uh, this and that about the religions and church. I believe what's right is what's right, and that, that's the love of God, man. The way and the path of righteousness. Religions are just labels like political parties. Beware labels, my friends. There's one God. You got his angels. You got Jesus, and you got his prophets. And even the devil is just a fallen angel in himself. So, I'm here today. I'm alive. Thank God. Um, I'm out here. I picked up my guitar. I'm still riding bikes. Um back on it feels good to be back in the saddle again um, i used to ride horses i don't ride horses much no more but motocross street bikes bikes will always be in my blood a bike life for life if you know what i mean um i love riding wheelies and shit but here's an old country song here um this is some more we're gonna stick with the old keith whiteley and uh i love when presley girls sing this song so this is for them and this is for uh uh, a girl I used to chase for 10 years. I love this girl down here. I went all the way to Florida to see her. She stood me up. So after that, I said, good riddance. Thank God for unanswered prayers, like Garth Brooks says. And I, I uh, say good riddance because it's a blessing in disguise. So uh, it goes something like this. This is another Keith Whitley song here. And Keith Whitley got a sad story in himself. He was a true, true lost soul. Uh, lost everything to drugs and alcohol and he drank himself to an early death. Keith Whitley could have been one of the greatest of all time. And country's coming up in the 80s and 90s of country music. And he had the true whiskey whiskey lullaby blues, old Keith Whitley. He drank himself to death when he was about 32. And I'm 30. I thank God every day because that could have been me, you, or anyone. I look back on all my friends who have died since high school from drugs and alcohol. I thank God every day because I've had all them close calls. But for some reason some way whether i'm strong or tough or i got a guardian angel or god blessed me in some way it wasn't my time to go and i survived all that shit and i'm out here now to tell you if it ain't your time to go it ain't your time to go my friends but uh i love this song it says i'm over you and i like this song when the presley girls sing it down there in north carolina it's a good old song and uh I'm over that girl for good. I, I'm a single lone wolf, like old Hank Williams says. He says, I'll be a bachelor till I die. I'm a lone wolf. And uh, sometimes it's better alone than bad company, my friends.
taking all that good Someone told you I was taking it rough Now why are they making those stories up? I'm over you You heard I've been drinking more than I should And I ain't been looking all that good I love that song. I could play that song all day. Lord knows I'm over you, because that's good riddance to me. I'm better alone than bad company, my friends. Like old Hank Hank Williams the first said, might be a bachelor till I die, but hey, you know, if it ain't real, I really don't want it. I'm looking for true love my whole life, and uh, I'm better alone than bad company. They always say George Washington says that, I believe, and uh, Hank Williams Jr. says I'd be a lone wolf. I'm better off been a lone wolf and a loner my whole life. That's what makes me strong. And I thank God every day to be out here on this second chance at life. Lord knows I should have died many times over. He used to call me Nine Lives or Nighthawk Nine Lives because I always lived on the edge, cheated death too many times. And I, I should start sharing some stories out there now with you now that I got a, uh, the YouTube channel up and rolling here. If y'all want to hear more crazy stories about my life in my younger days, Follow, like, subscribe. I might start sharing some crazy stories with the world because fuck it, I got nothing to lose. When I'm dead and gone, this YouTube and my music is all I got left. So this will be my legacy and uh, whatnot. And like old John Belushi used to say, I may be gone, but rock and roll lives on, baby. So that's what, when I was real sick and hurt, I thought I was going to die. That's what made me start this YouTube channel. And I'm doing better. It turned into a real blessing in my life. Like that one uh, country music singer says, old Luke Combs says, what I thought was going to be the death of me ended up being my saving grace. I think he says that. And uh, Lord knows. And it's funny, you see a lot of songs about the good Lord and a lot of songs about his angels too. And old Luke Combs, he says, Lord knows what I thought was going to be the death of me is my saving grace. Amen, God. God bless you. May the Holy Spirit bless your life with your families. Lord knows, man. Lord knows, Lord knows, Lord knows. You start paying attention to that music because the love of the Lord is in that music. And um, they always say angels will appear singing a beautiful song. Like Johnny Cash says, he spoke to me in a voice so sweet. Thought I heard the shuffle of an angel's feet. He said, John, go do my will. Or something like that. But uh, Lord knows, man. I just want to bless everyone out there. Let y'all know, doing. I'm doing much better, feeling much better. I still live in pain. I still got pain, but I tell you, I'm better than I was. And uh, I live like every day like it could be my last days because I still get a lot of pain and weak sometimes, but it ain't. I'm doing a lot better than I was, and I'm hoping in time I continue to get stronger and better. And uh, if I die tomorrow, just let you know I love all y'all, and I got a great opportunity and blessing to uh, make peace with this life. And uh, I've had a good life, a lot of hard times and pain, but grateful to be out there. And I was going to share some other sh uh, uh, blessings and whatnot with y'all, but uh, I might have to make a next video coming up here. So if you like these videos, I'd like to share some more crazy stories with y'all about my youth and the shit I survived and why they call me Nine Lives. I think I mentioned why they call me Nighthawk. Uh, Nighthawk 
was a perfect fitting name for me. I used to, uh, my first vehicle was a, was a Honda Nighthawk inline four cafe racer bike. So I'm a motorcycle, I'm a biker to the day I die. Biker blood in my blood, man. Motocross, Jap bikes, but I was always a, a Honda makes a great machine. And you know what, Harley Davidson can kiss my ass because I've dusted many Harleys. Many Harley riders will spend 30 grand on a Harley and get dusted by a Jap bike. A cross rocket or a Jap bike or a cafe racer. I'm Honda, 1980s Honda super bikes were fast, fucking quick, mean little bikes, man. They always call me Nighthawk. I'm proud to ride a Honda, man. I dusted many Harleys on them Honda. So Harley can kiss my ass. Harleys are overpriced, overweight, clunkers. Um, Honda always made a good machine. They call me Nighthawk, Nighthawk Baby, Nighthawk Nine Lives, Spirit of the West. Um, so my name comes from the motorcycle. I've been riding Nighthawk since I was, before I even had a driver's license. That was my first car. So I used to drive to high school and everybody say, oh, here comes Nighthawk. And then uh, when I got my CDL and gone into truck driving and whatnot, that was my CB channel. Nighthawk One to Dispatch, come back. I was Nighthawk One and they always call me Nighthawk One to Dispatch. Big Ben, Rubber Duck, Cottonmouth, Red Rider, come back on the speaker. If I was that dude, I'd drive day and night, all day and all night. We'd run two log books. Now, the government done since took my CDL for health and physical reasons. But they call me Nighthawk. That's my CB channel. And I was working as a private security guard, bodyguard, and uh, a security guard for some people in some high places. I can't really discuss, but um, uh, they always call me Nighthawk because I'd be up day and night. I'd work 24 hours straight, man, sometimes. Really took a toll on my health and put me in the shape I'm in, but I'm so grateful that I don't have to work no more because it would, probably would have killed me. And they call me Nighthawk for some other reasons, but over the years, that name always just stuck with me. And it's just a cool fucking name, Nighthawk. And uh, now that I'm in the guitar and uh, country singer and whatnot, and I consider myself, I ain't great, but I'm all right. I've been told I'm all right. Um, I like to do more with the music and guitar. I got some songs on Spotify, and uh, I got an album and songs out on Spotify. I got a playlist in the YouTube channel with, with one of my first demo albums with some Nighthawk original songs out there, and I got some songs on Spotify and iTunes now. Go check them out. I'm Nighthawk, baby, so that's also why Nighthawk's my name, because that's my, my, uh, my uh, what they call it, that's my, that's my music name, man. I'm Nighthawk, baby. There's a story behind that too. I always say, well, but the girl said, don't call me baby. I said, no, 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 baby. That baby's my name. I'm Nighthawk Baby. So I'm Nighthawk Baby. I'm Nighthawk Nine Lives. That's where my name comes from. That's who I am. It's part of me. And uh, when I'm dead and gone, man, like Eminem says, uh, I'll be the legend of Nighthawk, man, because like Eminem Slim Shady says, ever since Prince turned himself into symbol, seems like hey, all they want now is Nighthawk. They don't want uh, John no more. So, um, Something like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm Nighthawk, baby. So remember the name. I'm going to ride it all the way to the top. And when I'm dead and gone, like John Belushi says, I may be gone, but rock and roll lives on, my friend. God bless you all. And may God help me and bring me strength and wisdom in this life. I hope I have a long life left ahead of me and a long life of work to do. And that would be God works, God's work, my friend. Amen. God bless.